This week's webinar is brought to you by PremiumBeat.com, providing high-quality stock music for all of your video and film projects. There's another setting that we can pay attention to. We'll turn the sweep off and go down to the behavior menu, go to camera. Another choice is Dolly. What Dolly allows us to do is to dolly the camera forward, move the camera like it's on wheels, push it forward. For instance, here, that's a dolly. Notice that I still am keeping that perspective. And the good news is it works great. The bad news is you can't aim the dolly. It always aims right for the dead center of the picture. And if you're like me, nothing you're framing is dead center. The dolly is always a problem because it goes the wrong way. Doesn't I want to? I don't want to focus on the letter E and text. There's nothing there. I want to focus on the 3D. So in order to do that, we're going to use a different behavior. This is so cool. Watch this. My hands will never leave my wrist. Select the camera, go to the behaviors, and don't go to a camera move. Go to a basic motion and say, again, display the HUD. And I'm going to give myself a little bit of a movement factor here just by dragging this out right about there. Click the 3D button and watch what happens. I can now control by grabbing this arrow and say, Let's bring our text back again. And I can say, where do I want to zoom to? Well, throw gives me the chance to say exactly where I want this move to end. I want to have it end by zooming right off the top of the number three. Oh, too far. Right about there. Let's go up just a little bit more. There we go. And zoom past it. All right. So now as I play this, here we go. Brace yourself. Isn't that cool? I can aim where I want this to go. Let's just try another one. I'm going to get close to the end. I want to have it go right out the center of the three, right about there. Go for it. Does that look like every news open you've ever seen? The channel three getting bigger and bigger in three dimensions and zoom. Well, now you can do it yourself inside motion. We could change the position. I always go, I, the beginning is always the same. Starts wherever you put the camera. I move toward the end, close to the end, grab the throw behavior and just drag. I'm going to have it zoom out the center of the D. Oh, pick up a little bit of that red light. That's kind of cool. Let's do that. And go for it. To -to -to -tom, the drums are pounding and the brass is... Look at that. That's, is that not cool or what? Throw gives us the ability to precisely determine where we're zooming, how fast we're going to zoom. And as you know from other motion effects, if you turn the effect off in the middle, say we stop it right here, notice that I can now play it at where the effect ends. That's where the zoom stops. This has been an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar going deeper into 3D space inside Motion 5.2. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 167. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.